How you guys doing? This is Dylan with Susquehanna Outdoors. And today we are uh, gonna put out a little predator trap line where I do a lot of small game and deer hunting. And in this first spot, I'm gonna show you guys where we are. We're on the edge of a hemlock thicket that holds a lot of grouse and holds a lot of rabbits. And just last week, there was about a foot and a half of snow up here and you could see that bobcats were using this area very heavily, hunting along the edges of it. A lot of red fox in the area, a lot of coyotes in the area. So I'm gonna take you guys through making a uh, pipe dream set with number three. Oh, right now we're using an earth, 24 inch earth anchor. I'm gonna drive that into the ground all the way. Out of this part out. Whew. That in. 15, 18 inch piece of PVC pipe. And we're going to put it in the ground about eight inches and at a 45 degree angle from our trap and a little bit offset. So that's going to go in the ground like that. And this is basically replacing a dirt hole for when we have bad conditions. We're going to have to blend all these leaves in a second. But right now we have this PVC pipe just barely sticking out of the ground. Got a trap pin about six inches and in offset. I'll show you guys here in a sec. But next we're gonna go with, uh, we're gonna put out our bait and our lure. We're gonna go, uh, gonna have a combination here. Oops, these three. So our long call lure going to be Dunlap Hellfire, a really skunky call. Um, that's going to go in a tree branch near here. In our PVC pipe, we got another Dunlap Rage. It's a muskrat based bait. Uh, doesn't smell good. And we're going to add a little red fox urine in the area. There's nothing like red fox piss. So, I'm going to grab a stick. Got to be very careful not to get any bait where we have our trap because that will cause the trap to get dug up. I forgot my gloves, so I'm going to have to wear gloves for this. The next set, once I head back to the truck, putting about, uh, let's see, maybe a two quarters worth of uh, bait in here in our PVC pipe. It's really, really bad smelling. So we're going to do that. And then high off the ground, we're gonna go with our Hellfire, which is a gel-based bait. And we're underneath the hemlock tree, so it should protect it a little bit more from the elements. Yeah, that's strong. we we'll put that above the trap. Put a little bit on the hemlock over here. And next is our red fox urine. Red fox urine will bring in coyotes Red fox, gray fox, bobcat, everything in the area. And we're just going to put a dab of that behind our PVC pipe. Next, we're going to work on blending this area, making it look more natural. I got to just tear it up. And we know, we, I marked where my pan is. So I'm going to put a couple very small twigs to try and guide their footstep onto that pan. Now we want to make it look natural, but still disturbed. Get their attention. I'll show you guys here in a second what we have. All right, so now we have the earth anchor in the ground and we're just gonna work on bedding this trap right now. That's one of the more important steps. I put down some peat moss underneath it. And then you're just gonna anchor this trap in as much as you can so that if this animal steps on a jaw, it's not gonna feel any wiggle. So then we're gonna take 
We have some wax paper in here and a pan cover. Pick it up, get all the noise out. We're gonna cover our trap pan so that we're not getting anything underneath there. And again, it's just the most important part of this is making sure no matter where this animal oh, steps, it's not gonna feel any wiggle so once i feel i have it really good embedded we're placing our wax paper over it i'm going to take our sifter throw some more throw some peat moss this was the only thing the hardware store had now we're gonna run through there and then we're gonna take the uh native dirt that we had And the reason we're using peat moss is because it's very dry and it gives off a methane gas. So things are not gonna freeze as easily in this. I'm gonna find our trap pan. Very little dirt on that. And we're gonna take some of our native dirt. And we're gonna just give it a very, very, very light sifting so that we're blending it in. And we're going with a pipe dream set here. So that means it's really good for when there's freezing weather and a lot of rain in the forecast. This is what, what we have this whole week. So I have. How you guys doing? Dylan with Susquehanna Outdoors. And uh, first check of the day. And it looks like we have a raccoon. Which is pretty uncommon for this time of the year. We got a beautiful front foot catch pad pretty good size sucker we're gonna take care of them and uh, we'll show you <laughs> 